Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to take a look at how to get the Nightfallen achievement, which is the first achievement you'll unlock in the Suramon story campaign. Hopefully this video will be helpful and enjoyable. If it is, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is come to Dalaran and Legion, go to the Violet Citadel, and grab the quest from Archmage Cadgar. Once there, you just turn around and click on this Arcane Anomaly. I am Thalysra of the Shalderai. This woman will appear. Listen to her story. Alright, and after done with her story, you turn the quest back into him, and then click this portal here. Once through the portal, I go forward. These guys will attack us, so we'll fight them. Once we're standing here, I'm gonna click Cadgar's Wand, and right click on that. You may be our last hope, Ibnala Kanesh. And then we're gonna head down here. Once we get to the next circle, we're gonna do the same thing. Click the wand. And click on this. The third circle is a little bit further away. Once here. We rinse and repeat. Just the wand. Click on the object. Alright. We move to a fourth circle, which is not far from the third one, it's just up ahead. Presented with this gentleman here. And we just have to defeat him. Okay, and now we have another circle to head to. Alright, and in this circle, we have her here, which we turn the quest into. We must take care. Everybody. And it looks like from here, we're going to uh, escort her to the shelter, so just follow her. Alright, so she will lead you to this cave, where you turn in the quest. And then you have to bandage her up, it looks like. And then turn in that quest, and get the next. Then to go in this cave, and search it. Alright, once you walk into the cave, you go to the center here. Start collecting these crystal mana. These guys will start attacking you. But, if you're max level, level 50 in my case, it shouldn't really be an issue. So you've just got to collect all six of those. And it looks like we're going to have to kill this Keeper. Alright, in order to get access to the Keeper, you have to kill those. Then, you can kill her. And once that's done, go back and turn it in. Alright, so she will go through a bit of story and talk for a while and then you simply go to her turn in the quest and then pick up the next quest and so the next quest asks us to find arcanist keldance hideout and it brings us to the scroll where we turn in the quest deterring the withered but do nothing for the cacophony of critters and beasts outside all right so the next quest is going to have us in an area where we need to find Keldot's notes, which are these scrolls, Still no luck in and then also the click on these the wards within the circled areas. Alright, once we have all of his scrolls, you'll be prompted to come over here to this bag of scrolls while we'll return the quest and grab the next one. You'll then be prompted to come here, where there's an ancient. We'll loot him to get the spell stone. 
Then we go turn it into this guy who runs right outside. How convenient. And then we get the next quest. Okay, and so I went ahead and got the ancient mono crystals, which was part of her quest line as well. And that's just gotten right outside of the area. Once we have all of that done, we're going to go back to her to turn in the quest. All right, so once we get back to her, turn in the quest, and we pick up the next one. All right, so the next part is going to have us get withered spell stones. So essentially, what we've got to do is use this on these withered guys, which are outside pretty much everywhere of the cave. Of course, it's a good idea not to have your pet kill them. All right, here's one that we can do now. Basically, just let this run through. And once it's done, it'll go neutral, and you just continue until you have all five. All right, once we have all five, we go back to her, turn in the quest, and there we go. We've got two of the achievements out of the six that we need. All right, so for the next part, we're going to the Oculus Workshop. That is far enough. We're going to get trapped in this thing. He'll do a little speech. Well, you have to click on the token down here. And then he will let you go and you can turn in the quest. All right, so once you turn in the quest, he'll tell you about a teleporter outside that you have to activate. We're going to follow over here and then click this garden. And then we'll step on the pad here. All of the teleporters work the same right. way. Use them to find that equipment. That will get us that. We are ready to begin the offensive and now I'm going to fly up Place here. Place along the city's outskirts and draw the wither down upon the Magistrix's forces. Kill these. And then click on this. Take that. Once we have that, we're gonna go to the next location where we need to click on this. Take that, and that'll bring us to the next part, which we need to go back to the workshop. Back at the workshop, turn it into him. We get the next one, which will have us teleport to the test chamber. So we click on that step on here, here and then it brings are. us here we'll listen to a speech for a moment once you're in there you go forward you have to intruders. kill Find some intruders in. and then click the glowy thing here in the middle so we'll just do that all right this click our glowy thing if we overcharge right. enough coins, and then we the just continue on down the path. Alright, so once we get to the next room, kill off all the enemies, we've got to click on four of these coils. Alright, once you do that, there'll be some story. You'll get teleported, and then you have to defeat her, which fairly quick if you're max level. Once you've defeated her, go over here and talk to him. After he teleports you, what go turn in the quest to him, and pick up the next one. In which case you have to pick him up. Alright, so once you arrive at the circle, you'll be here with first Arcanist, and you press this little put down button, turn in the quest, and get the next one. Alright, so after you accept the quest from her, you click on him. He gives you a little quest that you turn in, and then he'll give you another quest where you have to survey the ruins. So we go out of the cave, fly right up here. I should mention, we click this. It'll take a little while. As you go through, you'll get interrupted every once in a while with some enemies. Just clear them out and click on the 
icon to continue. If you get these rifts, all you've got to do is click on them, clear out any images that came out, and then click the icon to continue once more. And then once done, you'll have an icon here where you can turn in the quest. Then you click through the portal. Once we've clicked through the portal, that will be three of six that we need for the achievement. Okay, so the next quest we have is to meet Stilgrim. Maybe saying that wrong, but essentially that will take you here. And so we've got to talk to him. Click this Just and all that. Means. Come, let us talk in private. And then we will follow him here. Okay, and then we Shadrach talk to him, suffering. take the quest, and we get a new quest. Market. So we'll have to follow him. Alright, he'll walk you over here. You have to click on this to get the enchanted party mask. Click on there. Then we follow him in. He wants to stay away from the guards. Alright, as we follow him in, there will be people that we need to talk to. Gotta talk to eight of them. They're on the map, so you can see them as you're what do you wish going through. By night's grace. Alright, as you can see, these are the guards you want to avoid. They'll do a circle, and if you're in there when they do the magic, it'll dispel you. However, if that happens to occur, you can kill them. Alright, and after you talk to the eighth person, this is not up for debate, you're you are either with us led or in here. Us. Choose wisely. I will hear no more of your scheming. You endanger everything our father Talk to her. Oh, dear child, do you not realize what he died Turn in that quest, our except the new one. Is just around the corner. I'm sure you will find Anaris nearby. Right, so now we've got to go defeat Anaris and inspect the memorial. So the memorial is just right up here. There, real quick like. Maybe, maybe kind of slow like. And we'll clicky there. clicky. You have come to help right and our there's Anaris. Who defeat. Are you? All right, and once you're done with the quest, you'll talk to him again, instruct him to follow, and we'll just bring them over here, and they can have their little talky talk. All right, after they do their talky talk, you click on an Aris, and our well, you get the new quest. Then you click on an Aris and clicky clicky this mask. Yes. You turn that in, and now. We move onwards. All right, and then once we're here, click on this mask to masquerade. We walk up to this dude. Talky talky. Dusk lily pots. And he will give us the next quest. I must address this immediately. Or we'll have to turn in the next quest at the marker. Okay, so we arrive back in the cave to turn in the quest, to reach the and the now we've got Anora the masquerade. Now we've got two left. Alright, so we arrive to the next location, and if you go to this gate, Shalasana. this arcanist will be here. There we she are. asks that you step on the next Anora. switch. Well, I will be healing you now. Oh, Anyone I think she's going to kill us. Blah, blah. Power is out there. We need only reach for. Okay, so we show her the symbol. So Thalysera has recruited and a to our I guess she doesn't kill us, so we'll listen so to desperate. her. <sighs> Very well. I am Voltoine. Alright, we'll follow and then turn in the quest. Alright, so once yes. in, this we turn in the quest. And now we have a puzzle. Alright, so when we get in here, we click on this one right here. Then it'll take you to the seal. So click there. Fine work. Three more to go. And then we continue. Okay, our next step is going to be to transition this. 
to make it go this way. Follow through. And then we make sure this one is transitioned so that we have this here. Go ahead and click that. All right, so next up, we turn this one back in the back corner to face back this way. We'll follow through. And we need to change this one so that it is facing here. Ultimately, the goal of all of these is to line up both the purple and the blue beam on these four corners and then do the clicky. So now we have one more to do. All right, so for this last one, we're going to turn this to go the other way. Turn the other way. There you go. We're going to go back to this back corner, have this turn this way. Follow through here. And make sure that this one's lined up properly so the purple's going here. Click on here. And now we have all four. Now we go back and turn in the quest. Alright. Now we go back to the cave. We talk to her. Alright, and after a minute of talking, you'll follow her down. And now we have almost all of them done. Pick up the new quest from Breathing First Alchemist. So you cannot be serious. Wasting your time on this creature. We should be blessed. Alright, and so if you don't have enough, you can go into the city and locate mana from here. And you need 300 in those little bags. Um, you want to do this after you have your masquerade, so you can go around and find them like so. Okay, and once you have the 300 mana, you will come over to Subject 16 and feed him said mana. Turn in the quest here and pick up the next one. All right, after she talks for a moment, she'll want you to click on these memories here. And then we'll be prompted to click on some more memories as this interaction continues. All right, and after a little while, she'll go through some RP, walk back over One here, turn in the quest to her, and get the next quest. All right, so the next quest will bring you on a little bit of a trip. We've got to explore the Moonglade Sanctum. So we'll go down here. Can you hear me? And enter it once we do. Click on this quest. Arcane communion forms a bond. Now it looks like we get to do another puzzle. Right, and this puzzle is quite the same. The objective is to get the blue and the purple onto these so that we can click them. Right, once we've got all three of them, we turn the quest back in here. And we get video. Okay, after the video. We get bombarded, we have to attack. Just let this progress. I think there's the Widowmaker. Okay. Widowmaker comes. More video. Once the video's over, talk to this guy. And we get the next quest. The okay, next quest will bring you here, and then we have to jump down. Yay. Once we're down here, you gotta wait for him to make it there. Then you turn that in. Now, we've got to go slay. So we make our way up these stairs to the queen. We go through the RP. She then runs away, and we have to chase her like so. Alright, once we follow her to the end, we can then slay her. We click on the seed. We go uh, 
this way with the seed. Follow this guy till we get out of here. Okay, so we're presented with this beacon that we click on here. The Temple of Falador. Alright, so we are teleported back to the cave. We've got to take the seed over here. Alright, once we get here, we just turn in the quest here. This little video plays. And we'll get the quest from this guy. Okay, we're going to pick up the quest from First Arcanist. All right, and once you complete this, you will have the Night Fallen but Not Forgotten achievement. All right, so that was our video on the Night Fallen achievement. Uh, once you have that, you'll unlock more of the story towards the Nightborn uh, unlock. But hopefully this video helped you. If it did, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.